<laughs> You're just sitting there. So. Okay, so here we go. So uh, 6.1, number 15. Roger, we love you. Uh, it says a car drives in a straight line on a level road with a constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. A ball is suspended by a string from the ceiling of the car. The ball does not swing, being at rest with respect to the car. What angle does the string make with the vertical? So the idea is you've got this, you know, here's the roof of the car, here's your string, and here's the ball. Follow? So let's think about what forces are acting on the ball. Let's make a free body diagram. So, Zach, get me started. Um, for your y component, you have the force of gravity. Good. <laughs> Good. It's calligraphy. All right. What other forces have we got? Force of tension. Force of tension. That force of tension, though, is going to act along the string. What might be a logical thing to do? Components. Split it up into components. So here is the force of tension in the x direction. Here is the force of tension in the y direction. Good? All right. And the problem tells us that the ball has an acceleration of 3 metras per secundo squared-o. Sorry, Spanish. Yeah. I, sometimes I drop into that. That's actually It's my second language. Um, uh, I don't like the way I wrote this. Somebody help me out. What should I do? On the X. That is only the, direct, the acceleration horizontally, yes? yes? What is the acceleration vertically? No. Nothing. Right? Because the car is driving. Horizontally. All right? So I feel like we have two equations we can solve here. So here we go. Net force equals, that's uh, not going to work. OK, so here we go. From the top equation, net force equals net force. So let's see. Uh, mass times 3 equals the force of tension in the x direction, right? You guys follow what I just did there? This is mass times acceleration equals total force. Good. And my vertical dudes tell me that my FTY must equal positive mg, right? Follow? I kind of skipped some net force equals net force steps there, but that's basically what that boils down to. Sorry, my G's are on steroids today. Okay, so let's draw that tension force. So have I lost anybody with my train O thought so far? It's like reading Shakespeare. All right, so here we go. Here's my tension. I know that the x component is 3m from right here. I know the y component is 9.8m from right here, because g is just 9.8. And what are we trying to find the angle it makes with the vertical? vertical? Who wrote this problem? We're looking for this angle. Right? Correct. So I'm looking at some inverse tangent here. It looks like my angle is going to be the inverse tangent of opposite, 3m, over adjacent, 9.8m. Why am I happy? Because your m's cancel. M's cancel. And then solve it. And so that gives you whatever the answer was on the sheet. What is it? 17 degrees. 17 degrees. Ish. So Donald, you just said, oh, in a very like, I just, something just clicked that hadn't clicked before. Can you talk to me about what just clicked? Uh, just like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> it, it's, um, it's just so much easier than, I was just, I was just stupid. No, not at all. These are not easy problems. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are way too hard on 
on each other. This is it's AP physics. This is one of the hardest classes in the school. So the fact that you guys are even, the you guys are even sitting here. <laughs> what do we speak Spanish? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's subjunctive quizzes. Uh, gotcha. I thought you were making a joke about my Spanish. Um, all right. Uh, problems on what we did here. <laughs>